Hi, I'm Steve Jackson from Jackson's Ray Guitars in Sydney, Annandale, Australia. And welcome to one of our YouTube videos. And I'm playing a Fender Esquire in beautiful sunburst. And for you collectors out there, I know you already know it's a custom colour because it's non-bound. And uh, also the Beatle fans would notice that it's very, very similar to Paul McCartney's. It's probably faded a little more than Paul's, which I believe he still has. But on the back, is still showing quite a bit of red in the sunburst, probably being in a shop window for a little time or sitting in someone's bedroom with the sun coming through. Lovely rosewood board, and it's one of the last made. As you're probably aware, Fender discontinued the Esquire around 68, 69, and this one being a July of 68 is one of the last of the beautiful Fender Esquire. And if you notice, I was changing uh, the pickup selector there, and you're thinking, well, he's only got one pickup. What's he doing fiddling around with that? Well, of course, if you've played an Esquire, you'll know that you've got your volume control sitting here and in back position, it's just straight through. You've got the telly type bridge pickup sound. Tone control doesn't work, but once you go into the middle section here, your tone's activated. So then you can pull a bit of the shrill down for you once you move that switch. So you're going from a treble sound to a less treble sound for more of a rhythm. And then on front, you've got that old bass sound that uh, just muffle, which people don't use much, don't use very much these days. And an Esquire like this rarely comes our way. Uh, I've known this guitar for about 20 years, and it's great to see it back through our store. And uh, I hope we get to see it again once someone takes it home. This one you're looking pretty clever on stage with because for all intensive purposes down there it looks like a early 50s butterscotch Fender Esquire. No pickup, beautiful old butterscotch style finish. Fender Esquire up there on the decal and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's only about four years old, it's made by John English, it's a master built. And for those that are aware of John English, and for those that aren't, he made one of the best Fender custom shop guitars ever built. And uh, uh, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but he's left us some beautiful guitars to uh, wrestle each other to own. And this is one of them. This is a John English master built stealth. Nice and light. All the features that you'd think on the original Esquire, including this beautiful engraved Esquire, very tastefully done on the back here. And it truly is a magnificent guitar. With the added bonus that uh, it's called a stealth because it has two hidden pickups. And of course, Leo Fender had that idea with the Marauder that was never released. And I'm sure some of you have read about the Marauder with the concealed pickups. Well, John English put that idea into production by hiding the pickups under the pick guards, which makes it sort of a strat configuration. So once you wind up the volume, you've got your Esquire pickup sound, of course, but then you have the middle pickup. All the way to front. So you look pretty clever on stage with this guitar. They'd be thinking, where are you getting all those sounds? You've got the in-between sound as well, as you do with the Stratocaster. Very cool idea and a beautiful guitar and available at Jackson's. Here we have a glorious original 53 Fender Esquire in factory finish and in superb condition for a 57 year old guitar. That's the original butterscotch finish over the ash body. Bakelite pick guard and as you can see it doesn't have a front pickup although 
you may be aware that Fender did route all these guitars for a front pickup if someone wanted to put one in later. And quite a few uh, had uh, added pickups in there, and I'm sure you know quite a few of the artists that have had done that, uh, like Jeff Beck, who put a front pickup in his Esquire. And so had Bruce Springsteen put a front pickup in his Esquire as well. And both being old butterscotch, Jeff took his a little further, of course, and uh, put a bit of contouring in the guitar. But this one remains original, and, and it's really great to see uh, that it hasn't been altered or refinished. And right down to the original tuners with the single lines. And of course, these guitars came in a gig bag just to make them more affordable. They were $139 in 1950 without a pickup and in a gig bag. And quite a few of them now have found their way uh, into the store with cases to help protect them. And unfortunately, some have had the added pickup. This one hasn't. Uh, it, ha it has that, that sound. <laughs> Once again, working with the middle. You've got the tone if you need it, so. Lovely chime. True tone, and we're playing through a beautiful old 60s blackface Fender Princeton, which are uh, highly prized amp as well. Yes, so that's there you go, the Esquire, and played by quite a few notable players. And the first one is uh, Mr. Perkins, that played with Johnny Cash, and uh, Luther had quite a few different Esquires, three or four, including a lovely sunburst one, like the one I. I featured earlier, and uh, then on the Jeff Beck, and even the founding guitar player from Pink Floyd, right down to Avril Lavigne playing a very much an Esquire style guitar, and it's her own guitar, but it is a single pickup, telly shaped guitar. But if you'd like to read more, please join our mailing list, and we do put out little articles like this one here. It's a nice three page article on Esquires. And if you uh, join up our mailing list, you can certainly get the JRG newsletter. But thanks for joining us, and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed our video and learnt a little about it. And if you send us in an email, we'd love to learn more too. Uh, thanks again. Bye. Mm -hmm.